You could change one thing about your hockey career. Wondar held my rights hostage and wouldn't let me play and sat me out. And today's video may not be for everybody. Uh, I had a skate yesterday and I, I kind of bummed my shoulder out. Uh, back in December, I actually dislocated this one on my blocker side. Here's the clip of that. Uh, that was a full dislocation on my shoulder, so this one wasn't as bad. It was just kind of like reaching out, stretching out, shoulders a little bit sore, so there's no skate today. Today's video is going to be just a dedicated Q&A. Just a lot of questions coming in about different things, about advice for hockey, this upcoming season, coronavirus, gear, masks, you name it. I want to talk about that and I want to engage with some of your awesome questions that you give me on a daily basis. So let's get to that right now. Car parts are broken. Did you ever play Major Junior? From that day on, Brennan never sang again. No, I didn't play Major Junior. I got gassed in the Prince George Cougars five days in the main camp. How was your high school hockey experience? I would say my high school hockey experience wasn't great. I was picked on a lot in high school, bullied a lot to be honest with you. I think every single person that I played hockey with in high school or that I went to high school with that was playing hockey has either quit, gotten gassed, or died. So uh, I'm the only one playing. Andrew Blahi, fellow Winnipegger, what's up Andy? He says, if you could change one thing about your hockey career, what would it be and why? I think the biggest thing that I would change is the self-entitlement that I had. I remember you know, walking into our coach's office when I was playing Junior A in English River, and although, yeah, we were getting pumped 8 nothing and 10 nothing every night and our team sucked, I had a self-entitlement about me that I think enabled me to fail. And although I probably should have gotten a little bit of an opportunity, I didn't help my case by being self-entitled and thinking, I, I deserve this. I should be starting. I should be getting more ice time. I should be getting more opportunities. Listen, my friends, you don't deserve f all in this lifetime. You don't deserve f all in the game. Be humble and continue to work hard. You will get your opportunity if you stay humble. That's my promise to you. Lundar Falcons or Arbor Ice Dogs? For those that don't know, those are the two junior B teams in Manitoba that I played for. And I'm going to go with Arbor Ice Dogs because Lundar held my rights hostage and wouldn't let me play and sat me out till I think the beginning of November, middle of November because I didn't want to play there anymore. I was just tired of having like seven guys show up to practice, nobody taking things seriously. Coming to the rink, people not understanding what I wanted to accomplish and what I wanted to do and what I wanted to be a part of and what I wanted to strive for. And when I got to Arbor, there was a lot more potential. There's a lot more optimism, positivity. I enjoyed going to the rink every day. I enjoyed having post-game showers. Like that was an awesome time. I enjoyed going to the post game bar, which I haven't drank in two and a half years since then. But Harper was a good time. And I also had a great year and I put up like a 920 save percentage. So Harper Guys Dogs over the Lundar Falcons. Liam Sweeney wants to know who's your favorite teammate you've ever had? Are you going to get the new Warrior helmet? And if so, what are you going to put on it? Helmets and skates are two of the things where I will not with it at all. I've been wearing Bauer skates my entire life with the exception of the true skates that I'm wearing currently. I've worn Bauer helmets for I think close to 10 years now. I'm comfortable with it. I'm used to it. It's I, I don't want to screw around. So unless Warrior sends me a free F1 mask, which Warrior never sends freebies to anybody, I'm not going to bother wasting my time a day on the Warrior mask. I, just, I don't think it would be for me. I'm going to get the new brand new 2020 Bauer profile mask and I'm going to get a custom paint job on it, which I will answer in another question. Alex J.P. Bradshaw asked exactly that question. If you got a new mask, custom paint job, what would be on it? So this is my mask right now. This is the Kurt Cobain 1.0 Nirvana Smells Like Teen Spirit theme. You know, one of the things I admired most about masks growing up were, for example, Jose Theodore and his mask. He had the gargoyles. Nikolai Habibulin, he had the Bulin wall and the hawk. There were these masks that had these iconic designs that were significantly and unforgettably theirs. And I've always wanted to have that. And I played around this week alone with different ideas of a Scott Stapp Creed theme mask, a Fred Durst Limp Biscuit mask. I know, Limp Biscuit, yes. But I think I really want to do a Kurt Cobain 2.0 with the Come As You Are theme because this is my current mask, the 1.0 version. And I love the look of the In Utero Angel. And I think it just, it kind of stands for something. That's something that I can take and make significantly and unforgettably be my, my design, my look. I'm thinking a very, very simple, predominantly white based uh, Kurt Cobain 2.0 Come As You Are theme. Jack Howie 29, how old is your mask and when did you get it painted? So my mask is I think a little over two years old. I got it painted by Liquid Lab Effects. He is out of Chicago. If you're looking to get a custom mask done, his information is right here on the screen. I would highly, highly recommend he does your mask. A lot of guys overcharge for paint jobs. I think he does the best job for the price that you're paying. I, again, I highly recommend you reach out to him and get a quote for what you want done. Ethan Kearney wants to know, are butt ends grips worth it? I think they're 100% worth it and I highly recommend you get one. It's changed my puck handling. It's changed the way that, that I feel the stick. It's 
better style. I think top to bottom, I think you'd be dumb not to get a butt end script. What are you gonna do when you run out of Vertex Edge cowling? One brand new set, two new sets, three, six sets of brand new cowlings. My friend, if you keep a lifetime stock supply of Vertex cowlings at home, you're never gonna run out. I just wanna use the Bauer Vertex cowlings, three millimeter size 11, that is the money. I love it, it's great. I don't ever wanna change from that again. If you can train with any pro goalie and their goalie coach, who would it be? That guy right there, Connor Hellbuck, he's my favorite goalie. Top to bottom, not just because I'm a Winnipeg, but I just think he's an awesome guy. I don't know who his goalie coach is, but would love to skate with uh, Connor Hellbuck for at least one skate. Braden2424, do you want to own a supercar? I would love a Tesla, that uh, brand new Cybertruck they got coming out. It's going to be nice, you know, lots of space to carry hockey equipment around. It looks kind of clunky, but like, I've always wanted to own a Tesla. I don't have the money for a Tesla, but I do want a Tesla. Tesla, if you're watching, throw me a little dough. You can't see it, but I just winked at you. Ethan says, what are some things you take from NHL goalies just from watching them? I think a lot of technical foundation and focus. You know, for example, the Braden Holpe, the water drop thing, the squirt in the water to practice visual edge, right? Tracking the puck, watching the puck in and out, watching the water drop, it's kind of thing. Connor Hellebuck, I found with the, uh, the stick position that, that he does, I found it just released a lot more of a mobile, responsive blocker arm and a better stick hand, I found personally. So when I saw him do that, I said I'm gonna do that too. Pierre wants to know who's your favorite goalie. Once again, this guy is my first, second, and third favorite goalie in the world. I gassed a girl I was dating recently earlier in the year because she didn't like Connor Hellbuck, but she talked him one night. It's not cool. Good friend of the show, Liam Sweeney, asked, any cinematic you'd want to add to your video, one or multiples? I would love, uh, DJ, I just released the brand new Mavic Air 2. I would love to have one of those bad boys. Um, I got a feeling DJI is gonna release a brand new Osmo Action I, Osmo Action 2. I just picked up an Osmo Action today, so uh, big mail time coming soon to unbox a bunch of technology stuff. I'm excited to show. DJI Mavic Air 2 Insta 361 are the one inch edition. At the time of filming this, I don't have the one inch, and that's this. Insta 360 sending it to me though, so. And then an Osmo Action 2, whenever it comes out, it was like the three things I'd really like if I could have it. We get a review of your truck. Now it's a review. It's a 2010 Chevy Colorado fully unloaded. It's good enough to mount cameras on, do film Q&As in downtown Winnipeg, and sit on while doing that. Simon wants to know, what is the most important thing to do to stay sharp during this quarantine period? I would say you gotta be creative. You gotta find ways to continue training. You gotta find ways to work out. You gotta find ways to get ice. If that means going out and about to a duck pond and going to skate like somebody else, be creative with your training. Before I start this next question, I wanna say, if you are sensitive, but hurt or easily offended, please either skip ahead about two minutes or please leave and never come back to one of these videos ever again. How are you dealing with not being able to skate? I'm not gonna live my life in fear. I'm not gonna live my life in the confines of a fence and a property. I'm not going to wear a stupid mask out in public to the grocery store. I have things in my life I want to accomplish. We all have a day to die. I'm gonna die one day. You're gonna die one day. We're all gonna die one day. I don't know when that's gonna happen. That's part of life. That's part of the game that we play when we come into this world. I don't care. My purpose in this life is playing hockey, making videos I was sharing with people, but more so playing hockey. It's what I love doing. And I'm not gonna let anything stop me. I'm gonna continue skating. I'm gonna continue working out. I'm gonna continue doing what I do on a regular basis with changing my lifestyle and what I do on a daily basis as minimal as humanly possible. And I don't give up. I'm going to finish the objective and the goal that I started two and a half years ago to play college hockey and to truly play it, sign with the team and actually be a part of a team. No pandemic is gonna get in the way of that. I'm going to do that. Sarah wants to know, what are things that I can do in this quarantine to improve my game and work on my skills? Throw a tennis ball against the wall, do juggling, do concentration grids. All the stuff is free and you can actually do it in the confines of your home. Find ways to stay on top of your game. Everybody's in the same predicament, not just you. Do you have any suggestions for how to train on ice with no ice tiles to skate for goalies? Well, if you don't have synthetic ice or ice, you're not gonna be able to skate, my friend. Uh, you, you could rollerblade, you could work out. Hockey's one of those things where it's getting so expensive. If you don't have money, you're not gonna go very far. I'm sorry if that upsets anybody. It's just kind of the way the game is. If you don't have dough, you're not going very far because dough is what is required to play hockey nowadays. Final question of the day, Main 17 How do you think quarantine is going to affect most athletes? I think a lot of people are gonna be going out lazy as shit. Everybody's making excuses and they're gonna continue making excuses of, oh, the pandemic made me fat. Oh, the pandemic. No, Becky, let me tell you something. You got lazy because you've always been a lazy person. You've always had shit work ethic. You've always had shit dieting habits. You staying at home 24 seven now for the past three months is all it takes to make you break. Don't blame the pandemic. The people that are self-motivated, intrinsically motivated, and want something are going to accomplish it. It doesn't matter that this pandemic has happened. The people that were truly driven and truly disciplined, keyword disciplined here, are gonna be successful. That includes the Q&A. Again, you got a question you want answered and featured in the segment of the videos, leave in the comment section below. See you in two days or three days or whenever the next video pops up.